we meet again. So basically, uh, today I'm going to do something pretty interesting. Uh, we've been using a bit of Furuno here. And now I got a all new unit from Garmin. The F, uh, FF650 with GPS. So basically it's a fish finder with GPS. And I think today the key point is for me to do the to show the right difference between the Furuno 688 versus the Garmin 650. Well, um, from our trip finding, uh, fishing, uh, sea fishing trip, uh, trip finding, what we found out is that the uh, 650 could navigate because while it comes to GPS, it could be able to mark waypoint. Uh, we could be able to see the uh, sharp, clear screen of where the fishes is. So I think that is a uh, pretty important, like, Unlike Furuno 688, basically Furuno is uh, is a plain basic model of uh, fish finder, I would say. Now, um, in order for me to navigate to my place or my destination, um, I don't think Furuno would be able to use it. And before this, we were using some GPS function and on another unit, then we're going to use Furuno for the fish finding. It seems a bit trouble when you have two both model at the same time. So having the Garmin 650, it will be making my life much easier in the sense that, hey, look, there is a, there is a, a fish finder, there is a map come all in. So it makes my life much, much easier. So it's, it's, it's just one you need to navigate all in all. Yeah. Right, so the other second point I'd like to highlight in terms of the Garmin versus the Furuno is the uh, the capability of doing the uh, the sonar recording in terms of uh, viewing of the data. So in the sense of the Garmin uh, FF650, it comes with the chirp sonar. So chirp sonar, it actually, it, it makes things much clearer, it reduces the noise, it makes things easier to use. Unlike the Furuno, Right, the Furuno you will see, we are actually on the same place, so you can actually see there's a lot of bubbles going around. The scan were like all over the place. If you think this is fish, let's look at the Garmin side. I don't see anything on that part. So the accuracy of the sauna in terms of the Garmin is much, much better. Because you see there's no, no bubbles, there's nothing, and it's just a regular gain. I didn't do any adjustment. This is as standard as it could be. And here itself, you can see actually there's quite a number of gain. So, a lot of all the noise, and again, if this is fish, it's not present over this side. So this is much more accurate, yeah. I think, uh, in term, especially when we go for like that, uh, quite a deep place of fishing, the sonar view is much much more accurate compared to the Furuno Six Eight Eight. Yeah. Uh, one of the another good factor is that these are basically the traditional way of it and we all know the three main key feature of the traditional coloring is basically red you got a very dense object okay yellow you got medium dense object and obviously the blue one is basically soft and almost non-existent it doesn't give a good feedback same goes here i think the data reading is almost the same but hey look garmin can do something a bit more different where i could do a color separation just like how we do photoshop and all that in this case i could remove certain colors that i i don't want to see come bring along i'll show you how to do it say for example i don't want to see certain part of the yellow so what i can do is basically just press a menu all right i'll go to sauna setup and over here, I'll go for the appearance. Then I will go for the color filter. Yeah. So under the color filter, we have the range of color, which all at this current point of time, everything is turned on. So here, let's say I don't want to see the black color part of it. So I'll just go, hey, I'm going to turn off, turn off the black color part of it. Okay, so now it's off. So let's say I don't want to have the yellow color part of it. So I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so it makes it easier to do a quick demonstration so because we see the black the yellow let's take something on the blue let's remove the blue part where the soft part i don't want to see about that okay so from here you are able to see my screens are now very straightforward so i don't have the light blue number one i don't see any more yellow all right i don't see any more yellow and i don't see any more black right so in this case in this case whereas the furuno are not able to do that um, it still will be like that. I'm not able to filter certain colors that I don't want and it makes my view especially when I'm driving the boat uh, to my destination or my target fish or 
places it makes me very very difficult to see so this guy is much more easier i could just filter it out and hey technology or electronics to make us fish better as a better fisherman right so i think this is important and it makes my life so easier yeah another part is that one of the easiest trick to quickly tell my guests or even myself to hey should i just drop the bait now you know so it's to see the fish symbol like now you can see that hey there's some fish symbol here at, and there's some numbering of uh, 1.7 so how what happened on this part is that the fish uh, sometimes we just want to see it quickly i don't want to see all the reverse uh, uh, tick looking uh, uh, sign or signal so i'm going to do it a bit more easier so in this case i'm going to turn on the options that i have for identi uh, identifying fishes take a look on this so from the main screen so basically i'm going to do into the sauna setup yeah then just go to the appearance then hey you got the fish symbol so my fish symbol was on just now and i actually have four main options actually five so i got turn it off okay i could see the fishes with some dotted uh, red yellow blue at the back i could see the fish with the numbering meaning that is at the depth of the uh, water column and the dotted on the red blue and uh, red blue and yellow so otherwise i could just see the fish or to make it simpler i would want to see fish with the depth alone so meaning in such that I know, hey, look, my fish is at this depth. So if I'm going to do the bait down onto the col water column, so I know, hey, how deep I want to go. And I don't actually have to drop all my lines down. Hey, like say, for example, let's say I'm fishing at the 200 feet water um, and the fish is at 100. I don't have to drop 200 feet and waste a lot of my time and waste a lot of my energy to crank it up. So I'm just going to drop it around 100 or perhaps even 110. I'm just going to jig it all the way up. So that makes my life easy. <clears throat> Again, it really does make my life easy and I really love this unit. Okay, so well, Garmin is uh, running on IPX7. Basically, it's uh, the waterproof level we're talking about IPX7. The Furuno 688 is running at the IPX5, so which makes it uh, a bit inferior compared to rain on uh, water and we always have the fear, hey, you know, water's getting in, the unit getting spoiled. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't see my fish and you'll never know how the weather is going to be when you're out fishing so in this case garmin wins over that uh, because it comes with the ipx7 waterproof now the last part is one of the key factor why garmin is better than furuno okay now in terms of furuno furuno runs the transducer of the furuno is actually plastic okay when you're talking about plastic we're talking about it's basically inferior garmin Fish Finder 650 comes with bronze true hull, uh, bronze true hull transducer, which you have option to just mount it this way, or you can just do a true hull. So we're talking about bronze, the rigidity of the unit, the uh, dexterity of the unit. Hey, look, it's always better. So in the comparison of these two, okay, for today onwards, I'll be turning off this guy. Goodbye, Furuno. And this is my new love. Out.